how to win between the points, that's what we're going to tell you today. Welcome everybody, today we are in Oosthout in Voorhout and today we're going to speak about how you can stay calm during the match and we have a very important cure for that and we're going to start right now. <laughs> I'm also going to tell you something that is so important that you have to watch to the end of the video. Yeah, that was your ball! So how do you stay calm on the court? We have the 16 second cure for you today. Everything that I tell you today is going to help you to win the match by winning between the points. Come on, come on. Yeah. If you get angry during the match, you will tighten up the muscles and you will use more of the big muscles. So you will use less the wrist and the underarm. So getting angrier is gonna tension you up and then you will play worse. Oh no! You can actually win against players that are better than you if you use this method correctly. So the 16 second cure. After you finished the point, you have 20 seconds to get back into the next point. You can use those 20 seconds after you made a horrible mistake to get back into the game. The first thing you should do after you made a mistake or you did something great neutral response Fifteen zero. no more man or or positive yes vamos yeah come on well done. Never negative. Oh, what am I doing here today? Horrible. So first step is neutral reaction. Or positive. Come on, well done. Good job. Never negative, because once you get into the negative spiral, you never get back up. Or you could, but you're gonna play worse. So, it's raining. Oh, neutral response. No worries. If you see that your partner is upset and he's like angry, like, oh, I'm shit! No worries, you're shit. Uh, everybody knows, but uh, today you might be doing better if we just focus on the guy on the left, because he's absolutely garbage. You are way better than him. Be positive, yeah? Get your partner back into the tactics. If you are not neutral, so if you're angry, you're losing your tactics. The second phase of the 16 second cure is the relaxation mode. Turn your back to the net. If you are in the relaxation mode, it's also good instead of holding this on your right hand, if you are angry, you might be putting too much pressure on the grip and then you will tighten up all the muscles. So what you could do is remove it and hold it in your non-dominant hand and then no worries. Yes, now I am more relaxed. If I am losing and I'm, and I'm like this, 15-0. So much pressure in the grip, this is not helping. In the second phase, it's also important that you're turning your back towards the opponents over there because they are not important anymore. It is more important that you become relaxed. So sometimes you see somebody that made a mistake, maybe tag them below if you noticed, that there are people that make a mistake. Oh, I played a good ball. I played another amazing bandera. They make a mistake. <laughs> And then it's like they are still with their focus on that ball. But after you made a terrible shot, 
you want to forget it as fast as possible. You turn your back to the opponent and you start with relaxing. Yeah? Relax. No pasa nada. So maybe hold it like here. You can also do this. So you are like walking and walk like you have to be present in the moment that you are not stressed and walk. So also it could be important that if you're walking that you are relaxed. It is also something that helps is to tension up your muscles and then release. So you feel the difference between being tense and being loose. This will all help you to be better in the next point. If you're more relaxed, you're able to play with better shots because you use more muscles. The more tense you are, the less muscles you use because you're using your big muscles, like your upper body too much. So then you will be in angry like this instead of <sighs> yep. What is also very important in the relaxation mode that if you're in phase two, that you're very aware of your breathing. You play better on a specific heartbeat. Yeah. If your heartbeat is too slow, you might be playing too passive. If your heartbeat is too fast, you might be playing too aggressive. So you have to control the heartbeat. Because if your heartbeat is too high, you actually lose control. So your technique goes to quit if your heartbeat is too high. There is a heartbeat that you just cannot control your technique anymore. You see that you are breathing through your mouth. <gasps> your heartbeat is too high. So you have to get that down by breathing in six seconds. <sighs> get as much oxygen as possible. You if you breathe in more, it's a bigger chance that your heartbeat is lower and you are ready for the next point. These are very small things you have to think about before you start to play your next point. If your opponent is going to serve and he's waiting for you and he wants you to play fast, wait until your heartbeat is low, say sorry. Take some extra time. So if the opponent is running through their mouth, they might lose control or they are stressed, uh, like it's a big point, or their heartbeat is too high and they have to breathe through their uh, mouth. So if you see that, you know you have them and you want to play points fast because then they will play worse. Also what is crucial in the relaxation phase is that your eyes are focusing on one thing. If you are angry or upset or your heartbeat is too high, you will, ha you will be like, like here and you get a lot of stress. Try it, try it in a living room, try to do like this and you feel like, oh, you feel a lot of stress. So if you play the point, some players, they look to the racket, uh, like a very specific part. And that will make, if you look to one specific spot, it will help you to relax more. So find something to focus on and try to look at that. And that will make you more calm. You made a terrible mistake oh, in the net. Neutral, nothing happened. Relax. I go to the back with my partner. Hey, how are you, man? Let's do... Let's pressure the guy on the left. He cannot play paddle. He, uh, he's plays in tennis. <laughs> he's easy. And the guy on the right, he cannot move that much. So maybe we should try to make him move a little bit more. Yeah? Um, okay, let's do this. Yeah. So then you have the third phase ready to play. What are you going to do next? The fourth phase. This is going to be the rituals phase. And the rituals phase is going to make you calmer on the court. So you don't have to be like Nadal, but you do things you always do to have your mind absolutely clear from whatever is inside your head. So if you are busy with your ritual, you will think of nothing else. And that will make your technique better because you don't want to think about how you're going to hit your shot. You want to think about where to hit your shot and then you already made the decision and then you're going to do the ritual. So that could be bouncing, bouncing like this, walking over the lines, the pants, then you're ready being active an energizer so if you want to if you want to keep moving and you want to do better you can do the energizer that you are ready for the next point 
So you can save your partner. Okay, let's move a little bit more. Come on, come on. Yeah. It's also said that if you have more energy than your opponent, you're 50% more likely to win the match. If you're more active, you can show your opponent, I am not done with you. I'm going to win this match because I have more energy than you. Come, kill me then, vamos. Yeah. You want to play on the flow. The flow is uh, a thing that you play that everything just happens by itself. You don't have to think, it just goes and you have like, oh, today I played so well, just hitting every ball. That's the flow. And you can get in that flow and how to get in that flow, I will also tell you. I think this is the most important thing I ever, ever told on video. If you are winning, play points as fast as possible. Don't even communicate with your partner. Try to skip that. Just maybe do like uh, I play to the to the to the outside, play there, play there, and then play quick points. This is how you are going to get into the flow. Because if you're hitting a lot of balls great in a row, it will make you feel good. If you feel good, you will play good. If you are losing, take as much time as possible in between the points to recover from losing and break the flow of the opponent. So if your opponent just hit an amazing ball, try to stall the point as much as possible. Wait until you ask for the third ball. Can I have the third ball, please? Uh, or change balls or take something time or... Uh, oh, <laughs> my shoe is untied. Sorry. Oh. Oh, oh, this one is also untied. To take as much time as possible, because now if you do this, you break the pattern and they have to get back into the rhythm again. If you want to see the full video, I think it's on YouTube for the Jim Lure 16 seconds cure. I think there's an entire video on that on YouTube. If you want to see more videos like this with uh, mental things, let me know below because uh, there are a few things that I would like to talk about, but I need to know if you think it's gonna be nice and helpful. So uh, if you want to see more of this, please drop a like and a subscription would be nice. Uh, the goal is to get 20,000 subscribers to the end of the year. So that will be amazing. Uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next episode. Hasta luego, ciao, adios.